Um, women in Islam, uh, obviously, Lovely, yeah. it's a huge subject. Mm. Um, women's rights is is very important in Western civilization. Um, it's something that's been hard fought for, um, and women have you know have have equal rights um, unless you're an absolute. Uh, well, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But women have rights in, 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 in Western civilization. I think most rational people would admit that men and women have equal rights. Okay. Mm. Um, what rights do UK Muslim women have in a conservative Muslim community or in a, an Orthodox Muslim community? So what rights do UK Muslim women have in an Orthodox Muslim community? Right. What rights should... Let me make it more flexible. What okay. rights uh, Muslim women have in a Muslim society? Okay. I mean, even if you don't take Orthodox, mm -hmm. it's a Muslim society. In, in the UK? In the UK. Yeah, we're talking about the UK specifically. In the UK. In the UK. Well, um, you see, uh, Quran has a chapter called Surah Nisa. Nisa means women. It has a chapter. They will say, oh, we a whole chapter name. About women. Yeah, Sounds it's, it's women. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, do Muslim women know Islam? I haven't come across... A single Muslim woman in my 35 years of preaching who really know Islam and ready to defend their position being Muslim and women and having equal and dignity. Impossible. There's not a single Muslim woman who can come to debate with me and say Islam gives prestige to them. No, it doesn't. Well, I mean, are they not counted as equal? You know, I mean, okay, no, the, but if, we, if we go to Christianity, men and women are, are equal in, in terms of the sight, in the eyes of God. There so is, no is that not the same in, in, in Islam? Equality is, is, is a dream in Islam for women, but there's no right. The women don't have any respect when it comes to their soul, you know. You have a soul, there's no respect, no recognition. Because uh, why, should I, why should I start? Should I start with uh, Muhammad's own, uh, you know, upbringing? Or should I, should I start about women, Muhammad's own wives? You know, if you, if you want to say that, well, if you ask Muslim women, you know, how... If he is a character to be emulated, if he's someone that you take your husband, do you want Muhammad to be, is your husband to be like a, like, like, like a Muhammad? M Muhammad, you know, had, had, a, had sex with a girl who was nine years old when he was 53, some say 54, and imagine what the girl had to go through, one. And he's not only that, he's an example for all times. Mm -hmm. That's why Muslims of India, Muslims of Bangladesh, especially Muslims of India nowadays, they were against child marriage restraint tax, saying that, no, increase, do not decrease the child age anymore. You see? Mm -hmm. Bangladesh is amongst the worst cases of child marriage mm -hmm. in, in the world. Uh, and what, what ages are we talking here? For 15, 14, 12, 13. And then, they don't give a damn about the child marriage restraint act. The law is there, they don't give a damn. They will always manipulate with age. Oh, no, she looked 15. Mm -hmm. You know what? What can I do? And then secondly, Muhammad divorced his wife simply because there were symptoms of leprosy on the wedding night. Mm -hmm. oh, leprosy, you know? You, you, imagine if Jesus was there, somebody was there. You know, somebody well, Jesus would have healed it. <laughs> <laughs> or at least if you, uh, you know, if you uh, saw your wife having you know, a serious disease, what did you do? You pray. Or you go to doctor. Yeah. But Muhammad did. He, just yeah. divorced her. Yeah. Then Muhammad divorced his wife just simply picking through the window. Mm. You know, one of the wives. He, he just so so when, a, when a Muslim woman is divorced in the UK, what position does that leave her in? Yes. So Muslim women are taught always that men are the ones who will be earning money. So being treated like queen. You know, my husband is the one to ask for money. But husband will be going through hell, you know, not earning enough money. But she'll be, uh, the husband will be, you know, in trouble as well. She won't be ready to work and she will not want to work and vast majority of Muslim women in the UK are not working because they don't find any reason to work you know they will be giving you know many of them will be saying that I have children and one after another one after another because you know I have giving children is uh, what, what about polygamy no, obviously polygamy seems to be mandated in Islam what about polygamy in the UK they, what do you know about that in the UK well many of the uh, husbands um, they usually end up marrying again in the UK in the UK and many of them you know, uh, you know go bankrupt here but into a millionaire back home I have many examples where uh, I, I, I know examples of where someone married a, an Irish woman and then he ended up marrying another one in, back in Bangladesh you know now the, the husband is saying the business in your name I'm bankrupt here although I have multi-million property back home so business will, <laughs> will bank will be coming and holding up to you so I start 
uh, getting ready to have your, your, your other sister here. <laughs> Otherwise, be ready to go bankrupt with all the children. The, the other thing, I mean, obviously we, we hear a lot about domestic violence. Um, is domestic violence a problem in Islam and uh, if so, why? Well, uh, you can beat your wife in Islam. You know, don't give me the nonsense that somebody will say, you know what, you have to beat your wife symbolic like that. That's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. So that's Monday for the if, if you, I made a video, and I, I, I think if your viewers can see that, where the beating was almost the verses, the, the Arabic verses were used and all that, that can go into the verses of going to the war and beating. So that that's beating is not like light beating, that's lie. And again, uh, um, there are examples when somebody, a, a woman, came to Muhammad's wife, Aisha, with serious black and blue, you know, being beaten her by her husband. And Aisha said, you know, I'm shocked. How can someone beat his wife like that? Muhammad didn't call that man and punish him. So why did you beat your wife? And even Maulana Maududi, famous Islamic scholar, respected by Jamaat he, Islam. He was Indian or Pakistani? Was Paki Indian, Indian born, Pakistan. Pakistani, yeah, con yeah, later yeah, on migrated. Yeah, yeah. But this man, Jamaat Islam, is hugely respected by Islamic Forum of Europe members who control 400 mos uh, mosques in Europe. It's Sorry, in England. Islamic Forum of Europe, just explain a bit about that actually. Islamic that's... Forum of Europe, doesn't matter if, if there is an officer or a worker or activist or Islamic Forum, you listen to this video, they can't lie. Mm. The Islamic Forum of Europe has nothing to do with Jamaat Islam and Maududi doctrine. And, Jamaat, and Islamic Forum of Europe and Jamaat Islam and Maududi philosophy, Maududi wrote in his book that if there is a problem between husband and wife, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be taken to the court. You see, mm. there are Sharia courts here who are dealing with these things. Yeah. So this okay. situation is very So, is so obviously, the, the last thing I want to talk about is a very contentious um, issue, and it's about the rape of, of um, white and, and other Asian um, children, really, by, by Muslim men in the, in the UK. Obviously, we've heard about the so-called grooming gangs. They're basically rape gangs. Mm -hmm. And uh, the statistics would lead us to believe that 90% of rape gangs are Muslim when only 5% of the population is, is Muslim. So obviously there's a problem there. Why is that happening? Is it cultural? Is it scriptural? Is it a bit, is it a bit of both? What's going on? What's going wrong there that that's happening? Majid, Majid Nawaz, if you listen to this video, it's not only cultural, it is from Islam. Yes, it is from Islam. Because uh, you see, the word rape, as a challenge, does not exist in Quran. I have the Quran right now. Right now here, if anybody can show me, the word rape does not exist in Quran, to begin with. Why? Because uh, according to Surah 24, verse 23, Surah 4, verse 24, I can go on. You know, and Surah Anfal, Surah 8, which means war booties, you know. Women are war booties, and you can rape adultery, and rape are not the same, you all know that. So adultery punishment is there, because obviously my wife, my thing, my slave is my slave, so you cannot have, you know. So that's the reason adultery is punishment, but rape is not. Because if you make rape a punishment, then you cannot go to war and rape women. Mm. You cannot say, say, stay asleep. And secondly, Muhammad himself, you know, I would say raped Aisha, a, a girl. Mm. So Muslim apologists or even Muslims so somehow in their brain will make it acceptable. So, end of the day, Girls of seven, nine, whatever, they will be somehow be taken as there can be men who can look at this girl have sexual desires, because in fact they are deep down in their in their history of Islamic history they have Muhammad as an example that he had ended up somehow having sex. But what if somebody has that kind of lust, you punish him. Don't victimize the child. But what they're doing, they're making the child wear burqa, making the child wear hijab. So you are giving him, you know what, I know you will have this last, I'm covering her. So, so could we say that because of, because of the, uh, the attitude that Muhammad had towards women, and because of the, the verses that we, that we talked about earlier where basically anybody who is not a Muslim is, is what was it you said, worse, worthless or...? or yes, yeah, so worst creatures. The worst creatures. So because of those two things, a female who is not a Muslim um, is mass gang rape, mass forget gang, mass child rape is rampant in the Muslim world. 
They name it child marriage. They name it marriage. They're not marriage children. These are child grooming and sexual exploitation and child rape. What we know as a statutory rape yeah. in the Western world. Okay. That's what it is. It is rampant. It's not. It's not Pakistani thing. Sure. It's not a cultural thing. It comes from Islam. It's okay to have sex and marry children. Okay. 